everyone and welcome to today's video. I'll be going through to you guys what I got in my classic Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of May. This is Ipsy's $12 a month subscription service. We get five sample size products in a pretty bag. I pay for this subscription with my own money, but I also get one gifted from Ipsy. That video should be already alive, so I'll link it to this video. But this one's theme is flower power. The brightest blooms come after the storm and now it's time to thrive. Go wild with color flex your glowy skin know-how and let your show-stopping beauty come alive. I really like this one's theme. I think it's perfect for May. I love flowers. May is just a beautiful month all around. The nature is waking up and it's also the Mother's Day month, so I think this theme is spot on. But let's see what I got in my classic Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of May. So this month Ipsy did send me a product card so I can read the information for you from there. But the first item I got is from a brand called Bonajour. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this is their eggplant daily BHA toner. The card says got oily or acne prone skin. This purifying toner is for you. It uses salicylic acid and eggplant extract to get rid of poor clogging dead skin cells and excess sebum without leaving behind a sticky residue. Use it twice a day on clean skin for a complexion that's clearer, smoother, and breakout free. Saturate a cotton pad with this toner and then gently wipe it across your face. Do not rinse. Now this sounds really good. Unfortunately, I have really a dry skin. I don't have acne prone skin, so this might not be meant for me, but it might work for me during the summer months since I do live in a very humid climate and sometimes that does clog my pores. So I'll definitely put this into use uh, during the summer and let you guys know. But in general, I don't think this is really catered to my needs. The next product I got on the other hand is totally up my alley. This is from Hey Honey and this is their Boosted Up Honey Rich Moisturizer. I love Hey Honey products. Every time I get one, I am super excited. The card says get ready to glow. This luxurious cream plumps, brightens and moisturizes to give a dry, dull looking skin a dewy, luminous look. Plus, it's infused with honey to minimize redness and inflammation. Use it as the last step in your skincare routine both morning and night. And this sounds amazing. I think this is something I definitely can put it into use right away. I have a dry skin and this sounds something that I'll really enjoy. And like I said, in general, I love Hey Honey products and I bet this is no exception, but I'll let you guys know after I tried it. The next item I got is also from a brand that I like. This is from The Balm and this is their Antidotes a Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 14. The card says this complexion perfector is made with bioretinol, a natural ingredient that mimics the line smoothing effects of retinol plus vitamins A and C to brighten and protect. Bonus, it comes in a post-consumer recycled a tube. Use a beauty sponge, brush, or your fingers to blend on skin. Add more when needed. I really think this sounds like a product for me. I like tinted moisturizers, and I'll have to see what the shade is like, but I do really enjoy the balm products. I like their kind of um, green beauty packaging, so let's uh, check out the shade number 14. And here is that shade 14. I don't know if you can see the shade, but here it is. It does look like a pretty good shade match for me. I like tinted moisturizers because it doesn't need to be an exact shade match to work. And But this one really does seem like something that will work for me just nicely. I think the only thing that I'm missing from this one is that it doesn't have an added SPF, which I prefer in my tinted moisturizers. So I did blend it in and I think it blended quite nicely. I can't tell of the coverage. I think there's a little bit of coverage, but not too much. I mean, typically tinted moisturizers have very light coverage, so it might be the case for this, but I feel like there's a little bit more coverage than I expected in here. Of course, I'll have to test it out on my skin to fully know that, but I'm really excited to try at this one. I know I like their products and this one just sounds like a really good one, especially for the summer. So I'll try it and let you guys know what I think. Next item I got is from the brand Glow on the 5th and I believe I got a product from them last month as well. This is their Bye Bye Puffy Eyes. The card says under eyes in need of wake up call, this cooling eye balm has you covered. It's infused with caffeine, shea butter and berry extract to minimize dark circles, reduce puffiness and refresh tired looking skin. Gently dab a small amount beneath both eyes until it's fully absorbed. Now I don't typically suffer 
from puffy eyes. However, in the summer, I do enjoy a little bit of a cooling feeling. I feel like it wakes me up quite nicely. So I'll definitely put this into use, even though this isn't really catered towards my need needs, but it does seem like a product I could use this summer. Now each month Ipsy let's just choose a one product in our glam bags. Unfortunately this month for whatever reason I was unable to choose my product. If this was a problem for you let us know in the comment section. I'd be curious to know if anyone else had the same issue. I did message Ipsy and they did give me some points to use as points purchases since it didn't work for me. But they did send me a fifth a product as well. So uh, this is from Basic Beauty Translucent Primer and this is actually a full size item valued at $16, which is great. The card says the difference between a really good makeup day and an amazing one, this super powered primer. The clear gel formula can be used on all skin tones to blur imperfections, smooth rough texture, minimize pores and lock your look into place for hours. Smooth 18 layer over clean skin and let it set for 15 seconds before applying a makeup. Now this looks like a really pretty um, tiny full-size product. I wonder if that's a mistake. It's only 10 milliliters, but I'll definitely put it into use. Let's actually see what it's like. So here is this primer and I added just a little bit on my hand. It is a clear gel-like primer. It doesn't feel sticky or anything and it disappeared into my skin quite nicely. I'll have to let you guys know if it actually uh, blurs once I've used it on my face. But there is a slight kind of chemically scent to it that I'm not the biggest fan of. And it did feel nice on my skin. Now that I touched it on my skin, it does have a slight tacky feeling once it dries down, which I know some people prefer because it that hold on, holds on to your makeup as well. So I'll have to try it out to see. But I'm really curious if this is a full size item for sure, because 10 milliliters is pretty small for a $16 item. But I'll put it into use and let you guys know know what I think about it. Like I said, I truly do enjoy the theme this month and the bag is no exception. I think it's beautiful. I love the floral pattern. I love the little rose gold zipper tag. All in all, I think it's a really pretty bag. Perfect for like May Mother's Day month. And I'll definitely put that into use. It's so pretty. So here are the products that were in my classic Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of May. Now this was a little bit of a mixed bag. I have to say there's one product that I'm so excited and that's the Hey Honey Moisturizer. That sounds like something right up my alley, something I love. Then I also am excited to try out the Tinted Moisturizer from The Balm. I've been really into Tinted Moisturizer since I have dry skin. I prefer lighter coverage. I have freckles, but other than that, I don't have anything major to cover. So I prefer this kind of light coverage in my foundation. So this sounds like something I'll love. Then there's the toner. I'm sure I'll get use out of it this summer, but it's not really catered to my skin at all. And the Bye Bye Eye Puffer is also another one that's not really a product for me. It's Bye Bye Puffy Eyes. And then the primer. I don't think this is a full size item. It's only it's only 10 milliliters. $16 for that is a lot. But then I love the bag. So there's good sides and bad sides for this month's selection. Now, as you know, I do pay for this subscription with my own money, but Ipsy also sends me their Ipsy Glamback Classic and Ipsy Glamback Plus. And I typically compare the one I purchased with my own money to the one I got as a gift. And this month, I have to say the gift was better. Typically, my own selection has been slightly better just because I've been able to personalize it. But as you can tell, I had no say in this month selection and maybe that's why I got such a mixed bag. Granted only one of these items would have been something I chose if I had been able to make a choice at this month. So I don't know if it would have made this um, bag any better but I have to say these two products are the only ones this one and this one that I'm super excited about. The rest are kind of okay. So all in all, not my favorite bag, although the theme is one of my favorites. 
If you are subscribed to Ipsy, let us know in the comment section what you got and if you felt like it was worth it for you. I know we get different things and maybe this selection would have been worth it for you. But for me, it seems a little, little bit lackluster for that $12 price tag. And I have to say, typically, I've been really enjoying the selections that I got from Ipsy. So this is just perhaps, hopefully, just a one-time thing that I'm not the biggest fan of my selection. But this is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope you subscribe. And if you like these kind of videos and want to see more of their kind, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.